Good day, science-minded learners. This is Teacher Mitzi, your physical science teacher. So before we proceed to our lesson for today, let us first think about our favorite food, okay? So we have lechon, right? Beef steak, spaghetti, fries, so all of those, right? So we all have different food preferences. But food is a source of large molecules that are needed in our body to function. And these large molecules is what we call the biological macromolecules that we will be discussing for today's video. Are you ready? Okay. So what is biological macromolecules? So they are large organic molecules. So when we say organic molecules, these are molecules or compounds made up of hydrocarbons or carbon and hydrogen atoms. And some of these also have oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. So some of the um, classification of biological macromolecules are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids that we will be discussing one by one later in our um, video or slides. So some of the functions of biological macromolecules are storing energy, protection, and insulation. So these are the functions of biological macromolecules. So the first biological macromolecules that we will be discussing for today is the carbohydrates. So what are these carbohydrates? So here are some of the foods that contains carbohydrates. So we have here pasta, chocolate, potato, and bread. So carbohydrates are also known as the saccharide or sugar is composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen with a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. Or it can be illustrated in this formula, CH2O. So the main function of carbohydrate is it is the main energy source of all organism and it is also the structure component for plants so carbohydrates can be classified into three so first we have monosaccharide or the building block or monomer of saccharide or carbohydrates next we have disaccharide and third we have polysaccharide so monosaccharide and disaccharide is also known as the simple sugar. And polysaccharide is also known as the complex sugar. So first we have the monosaccharide. So mono means one. Saccharide means sugar. So this is the um, structure for monosaccharide. So it is composed of one unit of sugar. Monosaccharide has one unit of sugar and it is composed of glucose, galactose, and fructose. Okay, so here is the structure of glucose. So glucose, it is used in dextrose. So yung nakalagay sa dextrose natin is a glucose. It is also found in blood sugar. And it is the energy utilized by the human body. So the different carbohydrates that we intake is converted into glucose. And then this will be used or readily used by our body as an energy. Next, we have galactose. So here is the structure of galactose. So galactose is found in milk and dairy products. So this is the sugar used in our milk and in any dairy product. Next, we have fructose. So here is the structure of fructose. So fructose, from the word itself, it is found in fruits and honey. So 
the responsible for the sweetness of fruits is the fructus. Okay? So, next we have the disaccharide. So, it is composed of two units of sugar. So, here is the structure for disaccharide. So, one unit of sugar and another unit of sugar. So, disaccharide is composed of two units of sugar or two units of monosaccharide. Okay, so the first disaccharide that we have here is the maltose. Okay, so maltose is composed of or a combination of two glucose. Okay, it is found in malt. So one of the example of food that contains maltose is the Milo. Okay, next we have sucrose. So, sucrose is a combination of glucose and fructose. It is found in regular table sugar and in sugar cane. Next, we have lactose. So, lactose is a combination of galactose and glucose. It is found in milk and milk products. Okay? So, an example of food that contains lactose are lacto, nido, and all um, products that has milk on it. Okay? So that is the disaccharide. So the last classification of carbohydrates is the polysaccharide. So when we say polysaccharide or poly, it means many and saccharide means sugar. So since um, monosaccharide is the monomer for carbohydrates. So this means that it polysaccharide has many um, composition of monosaccharide. Okay. So the first example of polysaccharide is the starch. So starch is where plants store their energy. So, this can be in amylose or the straight chain and amylopectin or the branch chain. So, as you can see, si amylose straight lang yung kanyang chain. And si amylopectin naman, meron siyang branches dito, right? So, that is the illustration of amylose and amylopectin, okay? So, that is the starch. So, an energy storage for plants okay next we have the glycogen so this is the energy storage naman for animals and us humans okay so di ba kanina yung glucose yun yung readily available na energy source in our human body so pag may um sobra dun sa glucose na hindi na use ng human body natin, hindi natin na use, it is turned into glycogen for energy storage. Okay? And then, if kailangan na siya ng ating body, i-convert siya into glucose. Okay? So that here is an illustration for glycogen. Okay? So another example of polysaccharide is the cellulose. So cellulose, it is the structural material in plant and it can be found in the cell wall. Okay, so this is a straight chain of glucose. So this is composed of glucose and this adds strength to the plant cell walls. Okay, so that is all about carbohydrates.